We remain in an early warning weather alert right now. Temperatures across northern Connecticut still near, if not below, freezing. Take a look at some of the uh, temps across the northern part of the state. 31 right now in Salisbury. We're looking at 29 in Torrington, 29 in Putnam, 31 in Willimantic and Windsor Locks. But look at Groton and New Haven up into the 40s, and this is what we expect. Wind has shifted to be out of the south across some parts of the state, and that will help to scour out that low-level cold. We've even seen some improved visibility across parts of Connecticut. A live look in our eye cam right now in Torrington showing much better visibility than what we saw even just an hour or so ago. A live look in our eye cam in Waterbury shows that everything is wet. 33 degrees in the Brass City, so still possible that things are slick with improving conditions as the evening goes on, or rather as the night goes on, and we get into Friday morning. A live look in our eye cam in New Haven. 41 degrees with a south wind at 7 miles an hour. Early warning pinpoint Doppler. Connecticut's only live Doppler radar has been uh, scanning and showing where a lot of this wintry precip has been stuck. Again, it's this Route 44 uh, core or from, from uh, the Norfolk area down all the way to Avon and eventually even into Hartford where we're still dealing with a lot of the mixing. Some uh, heavier signals of precip, maybe some sleet mixed in here before a change over to rain uh, closer to Windsor. And uh, we've also got some uh, mixed precip ongoing across the quiet corner too. This is really the back end of this though, expecting things to clear out fairly quickly. But take a look at what's going on in Wyndham County and especially closer to Stafford now through Tallinn County down to Ashford. Some heavier bands of precip rotating through temperatures there about 30 degrees. So a lot of what's falling is likely falling and sticking as ice with rain mostly south of Hartford. There could be a little bit of mixing closer to Colchester and Hebron out route too. But this is it. Once this moves through, we are done. The past six hours have shown the progression of this wave moving closer and closer to us. Our alert will wrap up after uh, this newscast wraps up with much better conditions expected for the commute tomorrow morning, especially as temperatures continue to climb. Futurecast begins the day tomorrow with a mix of clouds and sun. The sun, despite temperatures dropping through the day, will help to clear everything up rapidly, as will the wind. Not expecting really much to go on tomorrow, except Arctic air does overspread the state. Here's temperatures in a few hours. Many of us in the mid to upper 30s. We watch temperatures fall as the day goes on tomorrow down into the 20s and teens by 7 o'clock. Factor in the wind. It will be fairly windy tomorrow. It's going to feel even colder. We're expecting gusts to rapidly climb to 25 to 35 miles an hour early in the morning. They stay there through the afternoon before they relax a bit later on. So tomorrow evening, if you're out and about, if you have planned, it's going to feel more like the teens and single digits. By Saturday morning, we're talking about feels like temperatures 0 to 10 degrees. So certainly some of the colder weather that we've seen this month, but not quite as cold as where we uh, were just a few weeks ago with that bitter Arctic air to begin in the month of February. High pressure Saturday moves to the east. Flurries pass through in the afternoon, not expecting any impacts. A mix of clouds and sun on Sunday. And then we chat about this. Both of our mid-range models at this point in time showing accumulating snow beginning late Monday, lasting until late Tuesday, possibly even early Wednesday. This looks to be a very wintry storm. It's one of the better snow chances that we've seen so far this winter. Rain, mix, and snow all on the table right now. I want to give you the early warning here, breaking it down in our early warning weather alert. This is likely to be a long-duration, messy storm. The biggest impacts are expected. Tuesday. Here's a snapshot of 11 o'clock Monday. Both models in agreement now. There were big differences yesterday, but now both models in agreement that this begins as snow, and then we have to watch where the rain snow line sets up across Connecticut. This will be a rather short-lived cold spell, though. Temperatures in the 20s on Saturday, uh, beginning of the day again in the teens. It'll feel even colder outside with the wind. We're up to the 40s on Sunday. Monday, we get into uh, this routine where the clouds increase, and it's late Monday when that mix pre SIP could begin again, giving you the early warning on that back into the mid 40s by the middle of next week. All right, Mike, thank you very much.